Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Well, we're going to have another fun day in the studio, having a little play uh, on part three of our file folder folio that's made from junk mail and file folders. And um, if you remember, we've been working on it. I did have to do some work without you. Otherwise, we would probably have about 20 parts, and it seems like after about three, no one really watches. So, even though everybody wants to, they just get busy with other things, think, well, I've already seen it. So, they really don't. And I, you know, I don't want to waste your time or mine. So, I want to say welcome, welcome to all of my brand new subscribers. I'm so thrilled that you're here and giving us a little try. Hopefully, you will subscribe and be part of our little community here. And hugs and kisses mwah, mwah, to all of you who come back and who comment my faithful commenters and watchers i really appreciate each and every one of you even if you aren't commenting and but you are watching so thank you you mean the world to me as you know i can't and wouldn't do this without you It'd just be so boring so anyway um if you remember we made our little booklet to go in the middle i did tie it in the middle to keep this out of the fold you know inside because we felt like it was a problem you know um, I feel like I do want to add some more pages just five isn't enough so um, when I get a chance I'm going to add at least another five so that we have about 40 sides of, for you to you know write on um, we did make all the put all the little cards in here and make the pockets so this one's all done I'm going to put that off to the side somewhere so nothing happens to it this is what we've been working on these are some of the things that i want to work with today some of our um decorating items now uh what i have here gosh my hands are cold and my rings are just <laughs> running around my hand um this is our folio that we are working on and we ended up putting the tim holtz um, washi fabric washi tape on the ends and we did this part now what I did without you is I have backed it I don't remember what we did last honestly it's been a while but I did cover the page I used some washi tape I did put the pocket on I we have these three pockets I have decorated up the pockets I used a little um, cluster that I made in one of my videos I found that and added a little um, tag from these are all from Tracy Fox so we've decorated it up and I did go ahead and work on the next set of pages um, I think we did this together I have since then now I've covered the back I think we did all this together on a video then I went ahead and put the this was a a, a piece of junk mail envelope as you can hear it we made a card, we put that inside, and then I put a piece of paper down over the flap. I, so I glued the flap on here and put it over it. This was the other envelope that we kept looking at. I was going back and forth on which one to use. Well, here it is. I have since then covered it with paper, both front and back. Um, and then I've added another envelope, a uh, smaller style envelope that I believe I opened on, where did I open this at? Oh on the end here okay and oops it looks like i just split some glue i'm gonna pull these sleeves up they're gonna drive me crazy even though i'm cold they're in my way they're bugging me so what i'm gonna do is i just knock that loose i added an envelope to my envelope and i'll show you what i did in just a minute here i don't want to close the envelope i think is what happened as i ended up closing it by putting too much glue on it like i just did here I'll check that in just a second. So what I did is before I covered this back, I added an envelope flap to it. It's not on the inside because this is cut here. I put it on the front of the envelope and then covered it with paper. So now this flips out and I've covered the back with coffee dyed paper. So you could either decorate it or you can, this just does not want to glue. Sometimes I feel like if I get too much ink or something, on that little corner it just doesn't want to stick covered it with some Tim Holtz papers I'm using a combination of collage type is the name of the line Tim Holtz uh, this is Jolene from a jewel design this is one of her floral kits I'm going to be using that 
I did use one of her pockets from one of her kits and put it on here. So uh, this is a pocket. This is a pocket. We have a pocket here. So we're going to want to make some things and decorate these all up. We may want to add another pocket or something here. I really don't know. This one's all done and decorated, as you can see. And it's got some little cards and tags in it. I'm going to, um, these are all from the kit that was a uh, collage type, it was called, C-O-L-L-A-G-E-T-Y-P-E. -E. I'm going to kind of move this on over. Um, this is the center here. I'm going to kind of move my, there, so I can kind of make sure, as long as I'm on the mat, you guys will see what I'm doing, right? All right. So then... I did end up putting a strip of the Tim Holtz fabric washi tape here and back here. And then I added another envelope, which you saw me. Um, I had a pile of envelopes and I put it here and I've opened it at the top. And I have covered it with some papers from my porch prints. And this is Tim Holtz, I made a little pocket here. Covered this, this was Edith Holden. Um, this is from the kit. This is from um, my porch prints again. And I've created a little belly band here. At least I hope there's a belly band here that has not closed itself up. I feel like it needs a little decorating. I did add a pocket here. Another uh, envelope that I put here. Um, and I covered, again, this was my porch prints and this is from the kit. And I've created a, a side pocket. And then this is from the kit. And I have just put that on, and that was from the kit, just to cover the envelope. So we're at a point where we need to decorate all these surfaces as well as create some ephemera. So now we'll be doing the ephemera for this because this is all set and ready to go. It's all covered, and, you know, this is what we have. So I'm really excited about it. So if you were to look at it for the first time, you'd go... Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And then how with this, and then we have this, and we have this, turn the page, we have this, and we have this. So, I mean, I could have gone on and on and on, but the point was for the other videos was that you could see, you know, what the base was and that you can just keep adding on. I can add another pocket to that if I wanted. I could add another I could stick another envelope and, you know, glue it on here or put it at the top. I, I looked at putting one down. I mean, you could just go on and on and on, but it was going to be a huge thing, and I really didn't want it to be that big. And what I decided was I think this one, which is this little notebook, is going to go right here, um, and then it will go like that. And I'm not sure how we'll close this. If we'll close it with string or if maybe I'll put a couple of eyelets here you know, and close it that way. I'm not really sure at this point what, how I want to close it. So, or maybe a giant, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really decided the best way to close it yet because it's not done and I don't know how big it's going to end up being. So right now we're at the point of, I want to decorate this very last because, you know, you're working in it and you don't want to smash it. So I think these this, these pockets are decorated and done. I think now we're at a point where we want to do something with these, whether we're going to add labels or numbers or, you know, um, I'm going to bring out my little numbers. Let's see what else do I have. What else do I have to play with? Um, I have words, but I don't think I want to use any of those. Do I have things I could decorate with here? Pretty much just roses. I don't want to use roses. But I am thinking that this might make a good decoration on a page or in a corner. I'm going to pull some of those out. And these could be, we could decorate with those, don't you think? I don't know about the colors. We'll have to see. These are all things I have stamped <clears throat> that I was thinking might work. If I ink them up, pretty good. So I'm just pulling out a few things that I've stamped onto vintage paper or scrap paper or, you know, whatever. 
Let me see. Ooh, these are cute. These would be cute in here. Oh, I didn't even know those were in there. Well, it, it pays to go through your little box of goodies every now and then because you never know what you're going to find, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these back in here because I don't want them running around freely on my desk. I don't want the words. What else have I got? Oh, these are labels. Now, these... I could use a few of these brown labels, honestly. They might they might work. So we will keep those. We don't want words. And we've got numbers. And I have a whole pile of stuff on both sides of me. So let's get busy. I want to decorate this. So I am actually thinking that I just saw something maybe here that we could use. I would cut it down. I don't think I like how big that is. Um, so how are you guys? Are you all well? Happy? Safe? Good? I hope so. I hope everybody's doing wonderfully. Um, I am thinking I might want to do a little trimming here. And this is vintage, uh, this is probably antique book page that I stamped on. That's a Tim Holtz stamp. So... I was thinking that would be cool. I do want to get out my ink. Might as well get it out and hopefully leave it out this time. I'm going to pull out some stuff and leave it on my desk because I just was, I don't know what's going on with me last time. I apologize. I was just sort of all over the board and OCD. I swear I was just putting stuff everywhere. I was thinking about putting that there and maybe adding like another number or tag. Now I did, I have been every chance I get cutting the out some of the Tracy Fox um, scientific labels as well as some of her others. I actually see something I want in the far corner, of course. I was thinking maybe something like that on there and then maybe something up there. I like this. So let's Give this a quickie little ink. And let's see about, I'm gonna pull out my extra glue page. I'm gonna put over here. Try to be a little more organized this time. Seems like lately I've been very helter skelter. I don't know what's going on with me, but too many things going on, I guess. Too many projects, <laughs> too many things going on in the house. We've actually pulled back on our bathroom project. We're not gonna be doing that right now. We're going to get to the floors we're, we have to, we finished our beautiful uh, brick patio. It's all done. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, you can go look at that over there if you haven't seen it already. Um, my husband and I now have to build, we, we bought ourselves a pretty little um, three-person glider swing that's going to go on that patio for a lovely afternoon reading. And then we have to do the walkway down the front walk. And then I believe we're all done with our outside projects. He's trimming trees today. Um, so when he's done with that, hopefully Joe will be, he's working on another, Joe's working on another project for one of the other neighbors. So when he's done with his project over there, they're going to work on the front walk, which is made with the same red brick. And then we're into the house to do the, um, oh, the floors. So I'm excited, but nervous. And it's a huge amount of work. And when that starts, I won't be able to do any videos for you guys, I don't think. I, I'll be doing videos, but hopefully it'll be like fun videos of, look guys, look, the floors are going in my studio. Or, you know, quick little videos is what it'll probably be. I don't know if I'll be doing any crafting videos. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to take play it by ear. Anyway, um, so there's a lot going on here. And in the meantime, we have to clear up the garage and give it a good thorough cleaning because... That's our staging area for all the stuff that's got to come out of the rooms that are getting new flooring. So he and I have a huge cleanup to do in that garage. Because you know, that's where we throw all the boxes from my business and all the junk and I've got shipping stuff everywhere. Okay, I think that's cute. That's decorated. This side, I think I'd like to leave it as is or maybe just put like one little, like one little, um, thing in the corner you know maybe someone could write 
Let's see how this looks. I'm going to give it a little trim down. I was thinking of just popping it in the corner and then it gives you a writing spot. But it's not, you know, totally plain looking tragic. All right. Let's do this. And one thing I did learn, um, if I use the art glitter glue on the antique book pages and the vintage book pages, it tends to mark it. It comes through and it shows. And it doesn't do it on all of them. And since I don't know which one this is, what book this came from, um, I'm not going to take a chance and ruin it, you know. So I'll just use a glue stick. And it stays on beautifully with that. Okay, so that page is done. I think that's all I want to do on that one. This one now... You know, I feel like something needs to be here. Do we want a belly band, a pocket? Um, I think initially I was going to put this under here, and I don't know why it ended up over there. Do we want another pocket or a belly band, a tuck? Hmm. Well, let's think about that a minute. Let's go on to this. Let's decorate this. Now, I do have... I do have a bunch of words from a jewel design. She actually has some botanical words. Um that are like grow, wild, bloom, botany, garden, seasons, botanical, blue bonnet, spring crest. What does this one say? Silver leaf. And then she has uh, words, roses, butterfly, nature, cilantro, botanical, grow, garden, wildfire, tons. Then she has some cards that are, that actually look like this. Um, they're like um, bits and pieces of like garden, Oh, what would you call it? Um, like dictionary or what, like what bread root is, what a lead, lead, lead plant, lead plant, false indigo. Um, so it's, they're fun little cards that you can use as journaling cards and you can decorate them all up. So I was thinking we could put some of those in the pockets. And then also from one of her kits, she has some flower cards. So I want to use those. I don't want to use any roses or blue or anything. So I'm just going to use the ones that are, that kind of go with this kit. But she has a kit that has those in it. So she has a bunch of botanical kits. Oh, here's another one I really like. I love this. That would look great in there and that. So why don't I pick a couple? And we can ink them up and make them look all pretty, right? Okay, this one's already rounded. And I've printed it on a very light cardstock, so I could add another layer in the back. Oh, but I won't because I did. I printed on the back. That's right, I remember. I printed on the back of all these. So they are ready to go because it is a light cardstock. I think it's a 65 pound or something. Nothing too crazy, but it's got enough body to write on it. You're not writing on a piece of copy paper, you know. Although you could. You absolutely could. Now, do I want to round the corners on this? Maybe. Let's, let's do quarter inch because I think that's uh, a little something, but it's not a big old, you know, corner. It's still throwing bits and pieces at me all the time. Goodness gracious. Anybody else have that problem where it doesn't stay in the in the little channel, the pocket, and then it just ends up all over everything? I just always have bits and pieces from it all over my desk. Okay. I call it corner crumbs. Corner crumbs. I have corner crumbs everywhere. I'm, cor I'm, I'm phrasing that. Corner crumbs. See, that's really cute. Now, I'm thinking it needs a word or something. So we have some little words here. These are Jolene's words, and she has them in, come in three colors, green, sort of a cream, and a pink. All on the same page. I think I'll use the word botanical. Pretty tiny, so I'll probably want to use it with something else, maybe. <sighs> Do 
anybody doing any big projects at their house? Or are we just the only crazy people? Probably. Well, we, since we've decided to stay, we have to get this house up to par if we're going to stay here. We need to have everything done and looking good and, and, and um, you know, in good condition. As we're getting older and with medical problems, both of us, you know, here and there. Maybe I would put like this at the bottom and maybe put botanical, this one maybe over here, put botanical up here and I'm wondering if I want to use some Maybe some washi tape or something up here. I have some Tim Holtz washi tape. I have lots of Tim Holtz tape. Um, I want to see if he's got a few that I like here that I think would work. Oopsie. Oopsie. I'm looking at the colors and the wording and see what we could use. A really cool one. This matches his papers that I'm using in this kit. I was thinking about going like that and then maybe maybe this green one at the top. That didn't feel very um, sticky so I thought maybe we should. What if we put this up here and we just kind of add word botanical up there. Oh, I like that. Well, cute or what? Cute. I like it. Okay. Oopsie. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. Alrighty. Let's get these edges inked. Like I said, I've spent every spare second that I have. If I'm, I leave them sitting on my desk, the Tracy Fox Digitals. All of her labels and stuff. And then whenever I go by, I stop and put, cut a few. Because <laughs> I haven't had time to just sit and fussy cut. By the time I sit down to watch TV at night, I'm wasted. I am ready for a nap. I mean, I'm ready to eat my dinner and go to bed. <laughs> or lay there and zone out. So, uh, okay. Let's, that was my stomach growling. I just fed you. You are getting no more food. You are on a diet. Not a weight loss diet. <laughs> Just to take it easy on your stomach diet. Okay, there we go. Now, I feel like this needs something. And I have to say, I am just crazy about this. Doesn't that look cute? We just took a basic card and made it really cute. That's going to go in that pocket. Perfect. Let's, this one needs something. Now, I do have from Jolene's kit, I think it's all the same kit, I do have some of her florals. And I'm thinking I might want to put one of those on there. Maybe the yellow or the daisy. I think the daisy blends in. I kind of like this one. Or, and oh, I have butterfly. I have a bee. I'm not fond of bees, probably because I'm violently allergic to them. I know she had some butterflies, but I believe I've used up all her butterflies from that kit. I need to cut some more. I probably have them somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Let me do a little bit of, let me find a pair of scissors. Let me do just a little bit. I did a, what they call a kiss cut is where as you go around it um, and you leave a little bit of white, but sort of where you kiss it with the scissors. And actually, I think fussy cut and kiss cuts are all terms from quilt makers. That's where I first heard them. But I would say that the same thing could apply with what we do. If you're a quilter and you've done any piecing or, I don't know, any of that stuff, you would probably be familiar with those terms.
Now, of course, I could get into every nook and cranny and cut that out, but I am not going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, if you like to ink or you have some distress ink, I'm going to distress the edges to make them look older. So they look like they belong on here. I don't want it to be bright white. All right. Um, I am wondering, well, because you can read this so well, I'm wondering if I want to use that piece. I guess it wouldn't matter. And then maybe we could put something down here. Let's find something to put on the bottom. I am loving, oh, my hubby sneezed and he just came in from the yard. Probably just inhaled a ton of pollen, poor guy. He's always had terrible allergies, but I have to tell you, I always start taking vitamin D and that has helped his allergies immensely. He does take the C and all the other stuff too, but kind of want something brown. Maybe we could do a couple. Or, hmm, I like that. Ugh. I did go through and organize those all, put them into little baggies <laughs> by like what kit they came out of and um, color and if they were half labels or full labels or bits and pieces. I don't know, every now and then I get very OCD and I have to organize all my stuff. It needs to be organized. Can't stand it. Oh, let's get this glued on. Again, this came from a jeweled design from one of her botanical kits. She has a number of them. Go through, look at them, look at each page, see if you can find the things that you like. But there are plenty of florally things. She's big into her florals, so. I think she started with those. Some of her first kits, I can't remember. Now these are stickers, so I don't need to um, glue and it's very sticky. Doesn't need any extra glue. Once it's down, it's down and it's not coming back up. Alrighty. Now we could put a number at the top or a word. Do we want a word? Um, maybe wildflower. They're nice and small, so you can use them around your flowers and not take up a ton of space. Let me ink this a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to blend in. And I'm also thinking that um, I want another piece of washi tape. Trying to use things that I haven't been using, that have been sitting in my... I have to say, Gail and her forgotten friends have really made me think about what's in my room I'm not using and pulling it out and using it, you know. And every one of these things are all things that I haven't been using. They've just been sitting in my shelves collecting dust. And what the heck am I saving them for, right? Now that's a great little journaling card. The back side's cute too. You can write on that. It's all inked up and ready to go. So now we've had we've got two lovely tags that go there. We do need to come up with something for here. Now with these little envelopes, when I bought them, it was a set of envelopes and cards. They were craft color. This is one of them. Now I thought about possibly just decorating up the front, maybe putting one of these cards or something on the front, and then just putting some coffee dyed paper in there and making it, you know, a nice little journaling spot. So, because they should fit in here, they came from here. I mean, they go with this. Yeah, see? So, well, we may think about that. Let's just finish, oh, we gotta decorate this. Whoopsie, for I forgot about that. Um. I'm thinking maybe one of these larger that doesn't have
have to be that one. I kind of like the round because you've got all these others. And I feel like something else needs to be with it. But I'm not really sure. Maybe like a like this. That's cute. We could do that. Boy, I just cut these out the other day. These were random science-y labels by Love Joke Journals, which is Tracy Fox and Fox Creative. I'm actually gonna move those to the back where they're out of the way. I don't wanna leave them on my desk because they're gonna run away. Now we could use I kind of like this. I think this is what I'm going to do. I do want to ink around them. Get rid of any white. You know, I try to cut as best I can, but the other day I was cutting circles. I was doing really well, and all of a sudden my scissors, I swear, they cut up mine of their own, and they just started cutting, and I'm like, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Come back here. <laughs> Stop that. I was looking for something with... um not quite so much black in it, but I think that's just the way they are and that's okay. Remember, just run our thumb down the front, pull off our sticker back. And then we're gonna do the same thing, run our thumb down the front. I've already inked it. I have no thumbnails left. My poor thumbs. I've crafted them to death. Very cute. Okay. I don't know what else we would put on there at this point. I kind of am thinking I like that as it is. Now, we may find other things to go in these pockets. Any of these. I feel like there needs to be a pocket or a belly band maybe right here. We're going to have to see. Okay, so that's all decorated. That's decorated. Again, maybe something here, but we're going to think about what that should be. I am going to take this out because we do have to work on this here. So we want to decorate this up. It needs a little something right here. I don't know. These might be too big. I'm just going to cut this for size before I go cutting one off the thing. These are fabulous tabs, like if you wanted them on the edge of your pages. So big. I don't know. It's a little big for what I would want. I was thinking we'd put the word botany on there. Takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Um, what else could I use? Not that I don't have a ton, and I mean a ton of stuff here to use. I have all kinds of things to use. I have this little pouch that's full of stuff. Let's see if there's anything in here. I don't know if any of it's botanical or what it is, so I wanted to see what was in this little pouch. Yeah, it's more French. It's all French stuff. French words, French signs. Hmm. Beekeeping. That might be fun in one of the pockets, though. Or sticking up from something. Sorry, I'm quiet, guys. I'm just looking through here, concentrating. Just Most of this is French ephemera. Yeah, it's all French ephemera. Not what I was looking for. What do I have here? This is from Angela Kerr. One of her kits. I'm looking to see. I think this was just one of her florally type kits. And I'm looking to see what kind of ephemera is in here, if there's anything. It's kind of pretty. 
Might use that in something. I don't know. Lots of postcards and things, which is great for filling pockets. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, see so we have little little uh, pieces that have the yellow in it, which is what I want. I don't mind if there's other colors as long as there's some yellow. I think this was one of her kits. Well, I know it was one of her kits. Hmm, okay, well maybe we may use some of those. But that's not what I wanted for right there. All right, now I also have a ton of Tracy Fox. And I have an entire box of boxes of stuff like this where I pre-cut stuff. And oh, we've got all kinds of butterflies. Oh my gosh, I have all kinds of... This is all whimsical, botanicals, mini embellishments, and these are Tracy Fox. So something like that could go on there. How about that one? That looks cool. Too big. I have got stuff, you guys. Stuff, 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 and more stuff. There's another one. That's got the daisies. And then I also have tags, circles, all kinds of stuff. Hmm. My goodness. I could be here forever, you guys. I'm never going to make a decision with all this stuff. How am I going to do this? All right. I like this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this in a number, maybe. What time is it? Oh, I got a half hour. All right. I'm going to have to watch my time. I left my glue stick open. Well, that was not wise because then it gets very sticky and not in a good way. And then let's see if I have a little maybe number or something I could put on here. Hmm. I add a little ink to the edge, maybe. This is an uh, antique book page that this is sitting on here. Italian book page. Very old. It's from the 1800s. It's the edge of something I tore off, and I'm really concerned about trying to add any kind of glue to this. It may just disintegrate. And it's the funniest thing. When I first got the book, it wasn't. it was very light in color, but as it has aired out here where it's so dry compared to uh, um, Italy where it's moist, the pages have turned darker and darker and darker. And I am waiting for the entire book to just disintegrate, honestly. I, oh my gosh. Now I don't mind another picture up there. I think that looks really cool. But what I think I might do is I have my stamp scissors here and I'm off to the side here doing a little, a little cut to make this like look like a stamp. It's really hard to cut it straight, I gotta tell you. Let me go like this, let me go like this. Okay, and let's put this here. I'm wondering if I want some, if I do, I'd want a bigger piece, like a wide piece of let me grab my, it's a good thing I got it, you guys. Ooh, those legs of mine. All right. I have some. 
Sorry, I left you for just a minute, but it's a good thing I got up. My legs are going to sleep. Let me see. I was thinking maybe I would put this like up here and then add that on top, maybe. The only thing is I don't want... Well, I didn't mean to rip it that badly. Yeah, that works. It's very sticky. Oh my gosh, this is the world's stickiest tape. I have to say, some of my washi tapes are crazy sticky. I think it depends where you got them from. And some of them, I swear, aren't really washy because they don't want to come off. There we go. That kind of goes along with this paper. That's pretty. What do we think? Do we like that? I like that. Now, I was thinking one of those cards that I saw might look good in here. I'm going to ink this up first, see if I can get it to be a little less new looking. I'm also thinking I want to change the shape of the card. Looks a little less digitally. And then let's get the edges. This is definitely, um, I did print on both sides of the cards, so. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I like that. I have a lot of other stuff that might be able to go in there. In fact, I do have, let me see. Oh, I have some of these. These are the backed postcards I showed you guys one day that I made. It goes along with that set. And I think what we could do is it could go in maybe like that, but I definitely want to put a label or something on this one as a postcard on the back. So this would be fun with like a little number and a label or something on it. Like that, and maybe a Tracy Fox one, a Field Notes one. I just saw one go by here in my little pouch. Field Notes would be kind of cool because it's got that postcard on the other side, so that's a lot of fun. I'm kind of trying to fill this up with ephemera as we go. I have an entire pile of stuff that I... I have started that have been sitting in my to-do box to finish my to-do to finish my finished to-do box so I've been grabbing stuff from there too and this is one of them and I do want to ink the edges I looks like I already did sort of ink them but now I really want to ink them because I want them to be much more fringy dirty like this is a book that you had out in the field with you and you were running through the plants and the fields and the orchards and you were documenting things that you found or saw. And trying to keep it all very botanically. I'm not even sure that's a word, but botanical-like. Inspired, botanical inspired. There we go. So just use what you have in your stash, which is what I'm doing here. I'm playing with things that I have not taken out in forever, especially like Tracy Fox. I was buying that stuff like crazy when I first started. I was doing a lot of botanicals and um, because I didn't know that there was a market for the shabby chic in journal making. And if I'd known, I probably would have started out that way more so than the botanical. And then this one. Do I want anything on this one? Maybe just a little label on the bottom. Yep, I think I'm going to put a little label down there. I 
we could put that pretty much right there. You guys are getting my process 100% today. Um, it went on crooked. Everything I do is crooked. If you ever get something from me that isn't, it's probably not mine. <laughs> I probably didn't do it. Oh. An imposter did it. Mm, silly, huh? Being a silly girl. Um, hmm. trying to figure out what else I want to put on here. I feel like everything needs a little something. I don't know why. We're filling this up as we go. I don't think I'll do another video after this. I'll probably just finish it all off camera and then show it to you at the beginning. Oh, uh, oh no. Well, we're going to make that go off the page. Darn it. That's what happens when you're working with vintage book page. Well, that one looks nice and old now. Okay, I didn't mean to finish that that way, but that's okay. Now, what do we want to do on this side? Do we want a big label? Do we want, oh, maybe we'll use one of Jolene's on this one. One of these. Botany or Wild or Bloom or one of those. Living wild, living in the state of nature, not domesticated or cultivated, native, savage, turbulent, or uncultivated, uncult uninhabited region. Hmm. That might work for that then. Those look like wild flowers of England. If it was Edith, um, who? Edith Holden? Yeah. Then possibly, I don't think this was her book. This was a different, this was a different book. This wasn't an Edith Holden. This is, um wildflowers of something. I don't know. I can't remember what book it came out of. I actually bought a bunch of book pages one day and got some really interesting combinations. I thought I would look at it at the top, but I didn't. I don't like it up there. So I think down here maybe. I think down here, maybe. What do we think? Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll do that. I don't want it to look so new. Because it's new. <laughs> um, oh, it's the Victorian Flower Album. I believe it came from. I recently bought a copy but this one is one I bought a bunch of pages from somebody. I don't remember who. Might have been Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Polka Dot Shop. But I don't know. I don't remember when or where I bought it from. It was like one of the first things I ever bought. I want a butterfly right here. Another one. I know we have two there, but I want another one. Which means I'm going to have to go to my butterfly book. Maybe not. I do have... I do have, I'm on the floor here. These are Artie Mays and Tracy Fox, one of their kits that they did, uh, collaborated on together. I was thinking maybe something like that, or maybe this one. Um, aren't these pretty? Wow, they are vibrant. That's too big. Mm, there's some pretty ones here. Mm, I like that one. Let me see if I can fussy cut this one real quick. Oh, I was thinking I didn't have very many butterflies, but then as I was going through my Tracy Fox, I have a whole box full of these plastic containers. And I have Tracy Fox and Artie Mays in it together. And I came across butterflies, lots of butterflies. I was like, oh, okay, I do have butterflies. I don't know why I didn't think I had any. They weren't in my um, 
ephemera books, that's why. That's because I keep all my Tracy and Andrea stuff together. They did some beautiful collaborations and I bought, I think pretty much all of them. I think I bought everything they did together. Mm. Looking for my ink. Ink and thing here. I want to get rid of the white because that was not my best fussy cutting ever. It wasn't my worst, but it wasn't my best. I feel like something needs to be behind that, like a sticker or a label or a something. Like, I almost feel like I need to, like, go, like, specimen and then put that on top. Kind of like that. I think I'll do that. Trying to keep it simple, not shoes it up too much. I feel like I don't want to, you know, it's not something that calls for lace and ribbon and bows and all that fun stuff. It's a different kind, which I do like to do every now and then because I get bored with the same old thing, you know. But I can tell you when I'm done with this, I will be ready to go back to what I love to do. Two, I love to do this. What else I love to do. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I had a lot of delivery trucks today. Holy cow, delivery truck Tuesday. I'm not exactly sure why, but it seems like everybody ordered stuff over the weekend. <laughs> All my neighbors are getting deliveries today. I had a bunch yesterday. Well, we ordered um, toys for my granddaughter's birthday. She's going to be in California. So normally we just ship everything directly to her house. But because she's going to be here for her birthday, my middle, one of my middle granddaughters, she's going to be, I believe, five. Forgive me because I have lost track of how old everybody is. It's crazy. I can't keep up anymore. My brain just doesn't doesn't record that stuff like it used to. Or it did, but it's not keeping it. It's dumping out information. Oh, you don't need this. Oh, you don't need that. Wait a minute. Hold on. And I don't seem to be able to choose what I get to remember. Birth dates all of a sudden. Oh, I can't remember anybody's birthday, including my own. I have to associate it with something. And even then... If I forget what the thing was that I associated it with, I don't remember. All right. Now, I do have Tracy's random numbers, too. These are all sciencey things. But I do have her numbers, but I don't think I have. I need to cut some and put them in this little pouch because I don't have any in this little pouch. I don't have any numbers. I think I used up all the numbers that I had in here. I don't have, I was looking to see if I had any left. Well, I have that. I think I'll put that up there. Alrighty, let me put this one on there. And then we're going to go back to this one. I think that needs a butterfly too. What do you think? I think a pretty butterfly would be good. Whoa! You guys, I just looked up at my clock and I am about to run out of time. I'm having such a good time playing in this little folio, decorating it. I don't know. You guys want to see more decorating? Do you want to see more? But by the time you would tell me yes or no, I would already be done, probably. I definitely need to get some numbers into the Tracy bag. Ugh. Look at that. Cute. I love how these are all coming out. Love them. I don't know that I want to put anything else on here unless I put something there and there, but I don't know what I would put. Maybe some washi tape or something. I'm looking to see if I have more butterflies. Do I have more butterflies? And I do, but there's just a few, and they're not the right colors, I don't think. Well, that's really pretty. I wonder how that would look if I cut it out. Oh, wait. I see something else really pretty. No, purple. I want purple. I was looking to see what I have in this kit. 
Mm, that's pretty too. I was kind of hoping I had something cut out, but I do not have anything cut like that. But I do have lots of little labels and butterflies and There is so much in here, you guys. I could be here for a week. I'm gonna leave that one out though, because I think I could I would use it on another page. Mm. No, maybe not. Never mind. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get this cut out before I run out of time. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this. I know I have. I am having a great time working on this with you guys. It has been a very fun project. It has been a nice departure from my usual pinks and roses and shabby chic and lace and pearls and all that good stuff I love to do. But I love this too. I did this to start. This is. I started with something very feminine and then I moved over to, I found Tracy Fox and then I was, and... Wendy, Wendy's Journal Adventures, and Artie Mays, and Rachel at Roxy Creations, and Crafty Cat. I found all of them and moved on to some other things, and then I came back to my first love, which is the shabby chic style. So I'm thinking that I love that, and I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to try to move some of this stuff out of my way and off screen here because I have made a lovely mess. So let me just ink this up a little more, glue it on, and then I think we'll probably have to call it a video, guys. I'm sad. I wanted to keep playing. Well, I probably will turn off the camera and keep right on playing um, because I am having such a good time. And um, then I will, I guess I will show you this to you all loaded with ephemera and we will move on to another project. I have another fun one for you coming on up. It's a retro project um, that I think you might enjoy. 1950s, 60s retro. It's not the beach one. It's a little something different. So hopefully you'll like that. But here we have what we did today. So what we did today was we decorated that. We decorated this. A couple of cards. We decorated the belly band and this page. We decorated this and these cards. We got quite a bit done today, you guys. I'm pretty pleased with all of the goodies that we did make today um, because we did all of that and that, and then we did this and this and this. So we did a lot today. I'm really proud of us. We got a lot done. Hopefully you were crafting along with me, working on your piece. I know you won't be as far as I was, but you do have the videos, plus you have this one to look at to see what I did with all the pieces. And, you know, you have that to look at. You can always message me if you're not sure about something um, and you have questions. Or if that doesn't work, um, I guess keep watching the video over and over until you see everything you needed to see. So thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you all very soon. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.